Hello everyone, this is Casey with POS Highway, and today I'll show you how easy it is to manage products and items in NCR Counterpoint. Let's get started. To add a new item in our system, click Inventory off of the main home menu. Then click the Items button to bring up the Items window. Here's where we can enter all of our product information. The first bit of information we need is the item number. You can either have the system automatically assign a number or key it in manually. Once a number is assigned, the default item settings populate. We can go ahead and enter the item name and description. Next we select an item type, which presents us with four options. Inventory, non-inventory, service, and discount. Inventory allows you to track the quantities on hand at each inventory location. Non-inventory allows you to sell the item, but you're not keeping track of the actual quantities that you have on hand, in transit, on purchase order, so on and so forth. Service is a labor or service that your business offers, and a discount item is a negative value line item that is put on the ticket above the subtitle line. Let's set this particular product as an inventory item type. Next we'll select the inventory tracking method. Normal means we're tracking this product piece by piece, unit by unit. Next are gridded items, or multi-variant products. It means that you're selling an item that comes in various configurations, such as a shirt that is sold in three different sizes and colors. Always serialized means that when it is sold, you must enter in a serial number, such as a tractor, or a laptop, or a firearm, something of that nature. Sometimes serialized means that it may not always have a serial number. Let's set the inventory tracking method to normal for this product and move on to the pricing. Put your selling price, regular price, which is usually the MSRP, and finally the cost, which is the cost of the item you're paying to your supplier. You can then select whether or not this product is discountable and taxable. If it is taxable, you're able to select which tax category and rate applies. Moving on, the category and subcategory allow you to classify the item in a specific manner, and it's very important when you're generating reports for sales, inventory, purchasing, and so forth. The account code determines which general ledger account the item appears under when the item is sold, purchased, or returned. Similar to the item number, the barcode number is something you can key in manually or auto-assign. The primary vendor field assigns the supplier to the item, and you can put the vendor's item number for future replenishments or purchase requests. The last few fields here determine the stocking unit, the most simplest being each. You may have other stocking units such as six-pack or pair. Product status indicates whether the item is still being sold, discontinued, or is inactive from a certain date. And finally, the label and mix and match codes. The next tab is for item description. You can have a short description at 15 characters and a long description at 50. You can add even more descriptions up to 80 characters each. This is helpful to your sales associates for adding product knowledge and specifications. You can also add many item attributes as well. A very important tab is the units tab. Here you can define if there are alternative units of measure for selling your products. For example, if you sold your products in a six pack, you can say one six pack is equal to six eaches. If you had a set price for selling this product as a six pack, you can define it here in the alternate price. If the price per unit stays the same, the system will know to multiply the sales price of $20 times six. Now we've made it to the e-commerce tab. Enabling this option makes the product available in your online store. Currently, Counterpoint does not have a native e-commerce platform, but we do integrate with many popular e-commerce solutions such as Shopify, Magento, and WooCommerce. These integrations typically allow you to manage all product information in Counterpoint, which then updates your products on the e-commerce platform. In the other tab, you can specify the price decimals or selling quantity decimals. So if you can sell this product in partial eaches, meaning a fraction of your stocking unit, you can put in a quantity decimal of two, for example. Most of the time, it would be a quantity of zero. 
Enter in any warranty policy in days, months, or years. Item prompts are basically pop-up forms that ask the cashier to input supplemental or necessary information about the product at the point of sale. You can prompt for further descriptions, a manual price, number of units, and even your own custom fields. Additionally, you can mark if this product is an admissions ticket, such as an entry ticket to a museum. You can also check if the item can be purchased with food stamps, and finally, if it is an item that needs to be weighed for purchase, such as produce or meats. This can also be used for calculations when you're shipping the product, taking into account your shipping charges. Lastly, the substitute items are another type of prompt, which in the event this product is not in stock, the cashier can recommend substitutes or similar products that you do have available. Thank you so much for your time and attention. This may seem a bit intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of things, adding and managing your product information in CounterPoint is not only flexible but very streamlined. Keep an eye out for future videos where I will show you how to copy and modify an existing product for, as a new one, and the bulk product edition worksheet which allows you to add hundreds of items in a matter of minutes. For a live one-on-one -on -one demo or training, call us today or visit poshighway.com.